Hi, my name is Dawn. And I don't know if you have any questions about like going to heaven or what kind of preacher you should be listening to because uh, something that you should know is that just because somebody picks up a Bible and claims to be a preacher telling you that something is the Word of God, it does not automatically mean they are the Word of God because the Bible warns about there will be many false prophets and there will be antichrist which means they're against christ going against christ and there's uh certain verses in the bible that refer you to test the spirits and how to um how to know like one sign if somebody says that uh you know if they're going to be an antichrist so there's this preacher named Kibaloy. He's from the Philippines. And let me give you a little bit of story from my history. Uh, we had somebody who lived down the street from us when I was growing up. And my parents said, stay away from that man because he's crazy. And I was like, what do you mean he's crazy? He thinks he, my parents said, he thinks that he was Jesus. He's Jesus Christ coming. He's Jesus Christ. You know how Jesus Christ is supposed to come back? Well, this guy is saying that he's Jesus Christ. So I knew like when I was young that if somebody says that they're Jesus Christ, there should be an alarm going off because there's Bible verses warning about that. Well, here's this guy named Kibaloy. He's from the Philippines. And let's listen to what he has to say. Satan Lucifer's time in this world is over. His ownership of the world is over. I am now the owner of the earth. Ew, that is just so wrong. I mean, in this video, there's people like raising their hands and clapping. Uh, it's just really like uh, disgusting, ew, and also sad. I'm, I'm sad for these people that they don't know because according to the Bible, the God of this world is Satan. So this guy is saying that, Hey, Lucifer, your time is up because the world belongs to me. So, uh, I don't know. This is like a warning sign. Let's continue listening. I am now the owner of the world. Wow. So he's the owner of the world. He, um... We're going to be discussing in future videos about what else he has to say. And it's really, it's just so sad. So be careful who you listen to. Read the Bible. Be like the Bereans. The Bereans were people mentioned in the book of Acts. And when Paul said that he was bringing the truth to them, they didn't just believe him right away. They searched the scriptures diligently. They didn't just like read the Bible like, mm, I'm just going to pick up the Bible and read what he said. They searched it diligently, meaning that they were taking care of what they needed to. Because just because somebody says something doesn't mean that it's true. Just because somebody um, says that they're a preacher of God, it does not mean it's true. We have been warned according to the Bible. Once again, don't just believe what you hear right away. You should search diligently. Now, our preacher has been warning us about false prophets. Uh, his name, uh, our preacher's name, Brother Ellie. He has a website if you have any questions, like he has videos, Q&A, at theoldpath.tv, theoldpath.tv. Um, and we are going to be keeping an eye on this guy named Kibaloy because we would like to just inform people about what to be aware of and other false claims he may be bringing and how uh, there's a story in the Bible about where uh, Satan tempted Jesus and he said well if you're the son of God why don't you turn these stones into bread right yeah so he was like because he caught on that Jesus was um, he was using the scripture so there's three stories in that he said if you're really son of god then why don't you like turn this stone into bread if you're the son of god uh you could throw yourself off this pinnacle and the angels and he start using scripture verses 
Well, this Kibaloi, I've heard him before, and he is like that. He will use verses that seem like, oh, okay, this is like pretty good. Like, like this seems kind of like what the Bible says, and then he'll go this way, and he'll, he will like, he will go off the path of what the Bible says. Like, meaning like he is very sly, like Satan was trying to do with uh, Jesus Christ when he was manifested in the flesh. Um, so. Once again, we'll be keeping an eye on the stories from Kibaloi, and we will be trying to inform you with the Lord's help. And once again, don't take my word for it. Read the Bible. Search diligently because your salvation depends on it. Thanks.